Uh, Superior Spider-Man number three. Almost started the week off with a bad book, but the previous reviews have been so bad, like that high level and Captain Marvel. And what was the other bad one I read? So many. So many. I wanted to start off with something I would actually enjoy, so I picked this because, man, I like the Superior Spider-Man a lot. It was definitely one of my favorite runs in all comics. That's why this one says 36. Actually, it should be a little bit more. I don't remember where Superior ended, but there were the... Uh, they had two issues of Spider-Verse with uh, Superior Spider-Man. They were like the lead-in to the original Spider-Verse comic that Dan Slott did. And they were like, you know, 22.5 or something. Either way, maybe that they're just ignoring those. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, so... The reason that we're at 36, right, is because they've had three issues of this. And um, it's been okay. I'm liking it a lot, but, you know, I'm just a big fan of the character. It's really hard to recommend this book unless you liked Superior Spider-Man or if you're just looking for something different. If you're looking for something different that's a bit different, you probably will like it, maybe. The problem is that... You know, you can't, it's hard to just jump on this book because there's a lot of history, right? There's the whole, he was Peter Parker, Spider-Man, he killed Peter Parker, all that stuff, blah, 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 took his body over, gave it up. The real Dr. Octopus is dead. He died giving his body back to Peter Parker or giving Peter Parker back his body. This is like a replica of of him, which you would have needed to read the Spider-Verse comics. Do you get where I'm going? Like, there's so much history. I suppose you don't need to really know it, but I'm just saying, like, if you really want to appreciate it, there's a lot in, there's a lot that happened in one year of Spider-Man comics that really help you enjoy this book a little bit more. And it's not even just that, because Anna Maria is in here, and she was a recurring character in the book for a long time, even after uh, Spider-Man died, or when Peter died, and, or when Ock died and Peter got his body back, and then there's the clone conspiracy where they brought him back. There's just so much to talk about. And it's not even really that interesting unless you liked, unless you liked Superior Spider-Man like I did. But uh, the past two issues... Has just been setting him up. He's a professor at Horizon University now. Anna Maria's there. Max, whatever his name is. Uh, you have a lot of the B-list support characters that were in Amazing Spider-Man have made their way over this series. And that's something that helps it is the fact that there's a supporting cast that's established. People know who they are. That helps the book. Now, the other problem is making... Otto Octavius likable <laughs> and relatable, which is tough, but it can be done and they've been doing an all right job with it so far. I'm wondering how far they'll go with this and if they'll keep him. They're going to, I just wonder what they're going to do with Doc Ock. Are they going to make another version of him from a clone body or what? You know, because I'd imagine they're eventually going to bring him back as a villain. I'd hope they'd somehow maybe make a clone body because. Because I like this character, so. Um, he's been fighting this guy who's got power cosmic. He drained half of the power cosmic. And he actually takes him down in a pretty ingenious way. But this is set up to make him look like a hero. And he uses it to take him down. We get really, like, this whole fight's pretty good. Like, this whole book's like a big fight. So it's just a big fight. This is like a big fight, the whole issue. Uh, the artwork leaves much to be desired. As you can see, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. I don't really see any tracing. I don't see any Google pics. It's just a little rough. I mean, there's definitely better. I would put more of the blame on the colors, to be honest. I actually think the pencils are fine. The colors are really bad. I, I usually don't comment on colors that much, but there's just not much here. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, this sets up Oc to be a big hero. And they actually have Anna come in, who's not drawn very well. The pencils aren't good there. Uh, they work together, and what he does is they take his axe, 
and he sets it to a different frequency, which turns it into like a poison, and that ends up backlashing on him, and that's how they de defeat him, which was pretty cool. It's a pretty interesting twist. Uh, but it ends up, I liked that, you know, she doesn't put him in jail, and you see uh, she's talking to Peter because she was trying to establish, you know, what do you think about him, Peter? And Peter's like, yeah, I think he's good. He's still got issues, but, you know, let's give him a shot. I thought that was cool that he, he brought Peter in, the writer, to do that, which was interesting. But we do find out, of course, look at this. <laughs> Body positive, y'all. Um, now, she ends up lying to Doc Ock and telling him that the power cosmic was taken by Alpha Flight. But what's cool is she's end up keeping it. She's like, I'm going to keep this. And it's a backup contingency plan in case he becomes... You know, evil again, she's going to use it to defeat him, which is capable. You know, she could. Anybody with that power is uh, pretty, pretty badass. Even her. So that's pretty much it. Not the most exciting issue, but if you're on board for the series, you'll enjoy it, I think. It's just, uh, you know, I don't think it's for everybody, which is always a problem. But is there enough niche people out there that are interested in the character to keep this book going? That's what it's going to come down to. I'm liking it a lot. I'm sure because usually niche books that I like don't last. So we'll see. I'm going to keep reading it though as long as it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.